It is finally time, guys. We can finally take on one of these orb bosses, and this time it's going to be the Prophet Taker. So I think yesterday I put it, I put a video out explaining all the things that disappointed me about Fortuna, and uh, orb bosses was one of the biggest things. Now we get to fight our very first orb boss, and this update has brought a ton of a ton of new content to Fortuna. So we've got more animals to hunt or conserve, if you put it that way. Um, we've got Baruch, the new Warframe. Uh, I already have him because of day one access. I kind of have to tell you guys that. And then uh, we're going to take... The goal of this stream is to try to take down that orb. And then... Uh, oh, there's, there's finally new hair for operators. I've been wanting this for so long. And finally, finally, we can do that. I'm actually probably going to do that first. And uh, otherwise, on the YouTube side of things, I have kind of been absent for about three weeks or so. And that's because I took a bit of a break from Warframe. But I've come back this week. Or actually, Monday. Yesterday when I made the video. So, yeah. This might be a long stream, depending on how long it's going to take. We, I hope I fail. <laughs> I, wanna, I want to fail. Uh, against the the orb because I wanted I really want it to be challenging. So, hey potato. Uh, sorry warrior, I won't be returning to Last Day on Earth. And uh, YouTube's on drugs again. It's not sending notifications out. <laughs> Amazing. So I assume most of you guys watching right now are from Discord. And uh, oh yeah. As for a face cam, I'm going to be getting that very soon. Like, in 3-4 days, I'm going to try buy it if the shops aren't closed for Christmas, and then I'll see if I can actually start streaming with my, with my face. <laughs> so, we'll see about that very soon. And so for now, I'll just take that out of the way. And uh, of course, this is still here from that meme vid I made. Now... Let's go again. Let's go ahead and customize our character here. Maybe I should get rid of this scarf thing first. Hey, little fox. Jeez, is YouTube even going to send out a notification? Jeez. I noticed last night when I posted the video, it took an hour and a half just to send out a no notification to most people. I hope we don't have to wait an hour and a half for the, for the live stream to get recommended. Uh, so, where's it at? Clothing. Scarf. Let's just take that off for now. And we're going to try the new hair. They added a whole bunch of new hairstyles. Okay, I'm probably going to have to mess with the highlights. What's new? This is new. They've got new hair physics, that's pretty cool. Let me just get rid of this highlight first. I think that's maybe tips. Just go with a darker color, maybe. Uh, I'm not too sure. Let's, let's go with the color and see what that looks like with the new hair. Alright, I'm not going to use that. This actually looks pretty good. And there's this one. Looks very similar, actually. It's just slightly longer. Got a ponytail here. Then a bun. <laughs> Wobbles around. It's pretty good. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a bit much. Here's another ponytail. This is a nice one. Then we got some edgy hairstyles, of course. Can't go wrong. Another ponytail. How many did they add? Uh, 
of course they had to add an afro. <laughs> what even are some of these hairstyles? <laughs> Dude, that is too much. That is too much. Fashion on point. They really went all out with the buns, didn't they? People are gonna make meme videos out of this, I swear. Jeez. Alright, I'm just gonna go with, um, I think maybe this one. Or was there a longer one? This was the shorter one. I'm mostly looking at this one right now. Though this is also very nice. I might get them both and then I'll mess around with them later. Yeah, let's go with this one. You want my icon? Oh, the glove. I'm actually gonna do a glove giveaway uh, pretty soon this stream. Uh, I'm also gonna do a platinum giveaway and if we get enough viewers, I might even do a Mesa Prime giveaway. Let's just see if YouTube has actually sent out... Hey! Hey! YouTube sent out notifications. <laughs> Only took like 10 minutes. <laughs> so uh, if you guys are watching now, you haven't really missed anything yet. Right now I'm just getting a little bit hyped over the new hair. Why did it zoom out though? Let's get a different brown. Yeah, I could probably work with this for now. That's a bit over the top. But now that we have three different options, that does make it easier to work with the eyebrow and eyelash problem. So I think only the this one setting will change it, and then you can still get better hair combinations. So that's a good change. So for now, I'll just use this. Off stream, I'll probably spend like another half an hour customizing. You know how it is. And let's put that hood back on. Yeah. So there are also new amps. New amp parts. I'd assume you can get those with Vox Solaris. Don't forget to like, guys. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna head down to Fortina now. And let's see what's new over there. And I think the Simulacrum also got a revamp. Uh, no, no, not here. Fortina. Let's just set it to solo for now. Also along the, the line of good news, I will also, along with the face cam, I'll also be getting a new graphics card, which means in the heat of battle with four people in intense battles in Fortuna, I won't have 30 FPS. I'll have more like 60. So that, that'll be better for future streams. So I guess we just head over to that one room then. I've already hit old friend and uh, you guys might see some spoilers if you haven't already. What? Random operator just chilling here. You guys might see some spoilers if you haven't made it to old friend yet. Did I kill it? No. What is for Tortuna? What? 
You mean Freud's unit? Don't tell me I spelt it wrong in the in the thumbnail. Oh wow. I only just looked at the game. There's there's a couple people here. Okay, little duck. Oh, come on. I get it, I get it, I get it, please. There we go. Let's see what's new here. Okay, and now there are five levels. Offerings. Okay, these are just more cosmetics. We've got new arcanes, and these allow us to do elemental damage. And I don't know how good that's going to be. I'm just gonna have to get it and see. These are the new amp parts. Oh, you can also get Baruch from here. That's actually pretty good. You don't have to grind and hope that his parts drop. You can just guarantee the parts. Yeah, I, I like that addition. And these are more elemental arcanes for the amp. And then we've got a lot more arcanes here. Alrighty, interesting. So there's actually a whole new set of items to grind for. And now we need to get Vox Solaris up. Now I think you still only need... you can only get up with toroids. Chrisma toroid. Okay, so there is a new one. I'd assume that these drop maybe from the orbs. And it's for 6,000. All right. Keep your eyes open, matey. The universe ain't looking to make friends. Am I gonna fight it? Yeah. I'm actually gonna... I'll try to do that first. I can't interact with my operator, can I? No, I have to go into Warframe. Oh, there is an option here. It was hidden behind the 20 million people just standing here. Has the entire Valis locked down with the Zorb Mothers? They watch over the Central Lakes, patrol the Eastern Grids. It's next to impossible for Ticker to get families out of Fortuna. Or smuggle in supplies. The mothers are a product of Corpus breakthroughs using salvaged sentient technology. Traditional weapons are ineffective against them. The command and control systems have thus far proven impenetrable. Questions? My question is why can't I use my Ruby code? No! Traditional weapons aren't going to do anything against them, which means we have to use our arc guns. Feels bad, man. So, somehow we need to be able to use our art guns. I watched a little bit of the dev stream and apparently there's a new ammo type as well. Like, heavy ammo. So, there was apparently a bug with that. Hopefully that's been fixed. I see, there's four phases. Propeller systems, those are the strain mods. These drop toroids. Toroids are in this drop pool. That's very good. Gravi mag. What is that? Arcwing guns to be deployed in terrestrial zones. Alright. What is the gyro mag? I like to think of myself as Fortuna's conscience. Returned home. Ready to no idea what these are for. They might be used for the Arcwing weapons. And then there's a whole new bunch of mods for Arcwing uh, weapons as well. That's also very good. Where's legs? Oh yeah, he was in here, wasn't he? <laughs> they told him to go to work. They're just like, no, be gone, legs. All right, so we're gonna do these then. Do 
Jeez, the frame rate in here. There's so many people. Uh, let's go ahead and equip Frost. You wanna see something? Well, don't stand in one place. And I might be better off with the Rubico here. Radiation. That should be fine. All right, well, let's get straight into it then. Right. We're all here. Let's get started. You want to see something? Well, why can't I move? From her perch above enrichment labs, profit taker has a perfect vantage to bombard anything she doesn't like. That's a huge problem for us. So, we're taking her down. This Profit Taker is an autonomous battle platform piloted by hybrid AI with sentient adaptive shielding reinforced by an overcharger satellite and geosynchronous orbit. Beneath that, her armor is a composite carapace, usually reserved for corpus warships. Successful elimination proceeds in three stages. First, we knock out the orbital overcharger. Second, Decoding Profit Taker's sentient shielding to ensure the Tenno can land fire on her directly. Third, providing the weaponry needed to penetrate that heavy duty carapace. Little Duck's chasing a lead on something with a lot more grunt than your usual hand weapons. But, first things first. Phase one. With the overcharger online, Profit Taker is, as far as our little group is concerned, invulnerable. The satellite overcharges the orb shield. We knock the overcharger on the head, and she's down to regular shielding. Here's how we do that. Little duck. Satellite behaves according to protocols. We control the protocols, we control the satellite. That's where my weirdy beardy quill mate comes in. Almost as if he knew we'd need this, he's got himself perfectly placed to provide. We're meeting him today for the handoff. Gear up. Hit the field. Once you're topside, we'll provide directions to your meeting with the Quill. If Anko's there, that would be pretty cool. So I guess we're not going to do it, because uh, Hotfix is coming in now. So we have to wait for that. And, uh, yeah, I'm a filthy Frost main. Frost works with everything, so... Especially with new things that have never been done before, Frost is a brilliant choice. Because if there's something that needs to be defended, he'll do that. If there's something that needs to be... Or if something's very powerful, you're not going to die in one shot. Frost is a very safe choice for that. What's the best way to get focus? Uh, I actually made a guide on that. It's Eidolon hunting. Be sure to check it out. Okay, well... We kind of have to wait one minute. Let's see what else there is. Let's see how we can hunt these new animals. Boon, Roki, and our assembled orphan tribe. Troublemakers, but they're just getting by. Soul Girl. Begrudge anyone who has to live in the vents. Pheromone synthesizer. Had better taste in music. Oh, oh yeah, these are for attracting rarer species. I remember Steve said. Uh, he that people should offer suggestions for what they should add and this was one of them I think the stover is that large dog that attacks you I already have the Cubidon lure, but I haven't actually hunted a Cubidon yet So if we still have time later on I'll probably try hunt some of these down these lures are very expensive though, so I think I can get, what's my mastery rank? 23. I can get 24,000 today. Yeah, that's enough. I can get the two lures. And oh, actually all three of them. Yeah, I'm old mate. You can't even download the update with 3 kilobits per second. 
I know the pain. I think with the Fortuna, the first Fortuna update, like when it finally arrived, I waited three hours before it was actually going at a proper speed. <laughs> it was going at like five bytes per second. Kilobytes? What's that privilege? I had bytes per second. <clears throat> I might also need to change my mic settings. Uh, and let me know if I should put that music off uh, that I've got playing in the background. It was kind of clashing with the music that was playing in these semi-cutscenes. Alright, let's, let's update this. And whilst we update, I may as well do a giveaway. What? How did that happen? Alrighty. So, we're gonna do... Am I gonna do a glyph giveaway? I haven't actually saw, thought that through. We, let's start with a platinum giveaway. 75 platinum. Uh, let me start this up. Correct scene. Platinum. I'm gonna do a keyword giveaway. Alrighty, 75 platinum guys, so if you want to try your luck, all you need to do is type exclamation mark plat in chat, I'll put in the chats as well. Uh, not, this plat is not for PC, this plat is for all platforms, so it doesn't matter what platform you're on. The update is done. I'll let up the game so long. Don't spam it, by the way. If you spam it, uh, you won't be chosen. Or you won't have the chance to be chosen. I'm gonna put this music off for now. Alrighty. I think that's enough time. Let's, let's log in first. And then, uh. I should take that away. I'm gonna roll the winner. Very soon, just waiting for this login. <laughs> okay, let's. Whilst that logs in, I'm gonna roll it right now. Okay, the winner is Senk Dink, if that's how I pronounce that. Congrats, man. Uh, if you want. If you want to get the code for it, all you need to do is either message me on Twitter or message me on Discord. The links should both be in the description. Alrighty, Warframe's wor working again. This is the problem with restarting the game. We get some black screens. All right, now we can go take on that Profit Taker orb. I guess we might have to restart that bounty then. Now, I'm not sure if it's possible to solo it. I remember the devs were still debating about whether it should be possible to do it solo or whether it should be group only. 
I'm gonna try do it solo because doing it with a squad normally means very bad frame rate with my current graphics card. And that means not a nice stream. But otherwise, if it can only be done with the squad, then I'll have some of you guys come join me. Yeah, we gotta go this way. We're gonna watch the cutscene again, aren't we? From her perch above enrichment labs, Profit Taker has a perfect vantage to bombard anything she doesn't like. That's a huge problem for us. So, we're taking her down. Fizz? Profit Taker is an autonomous battle platform piloted by hybrid AI with sentient adaptive shielding reinforced by an overcharger satellite in geosynchronous orbit. Beneath that, her armor is a composite carapace, usually reserved for corpus warships. Successful elimination proceeds in three stages. First, we knock out the orbital overcharger. Second, decoding profit takers sentient shielding to ensure the Tenno can land fire on her directly. Third, providing the weaponry needed to penetrate that heavy duty carapace. Little Duck's chasing a lead on something with a lot more grub than your usual hand weapons. But, first things first. Phase 1. With the Overcharger online, Prophet Taker is, as far as our little group is concerned, invulnerable. The satellite overcharges the orb shield. We knock the Overcharger on the head, and she's down to regular shielding. Here's how we do that. Little Duck. Satellite behaves according to protocols. We control the protocols, we control the satellite. That's where my weirdy beardy quill mate comes in. Almost as if he knew we'd need this, he's got himself perfectly placed to provide. We're meeting him today for the handoff. Gear up, hit the field. Once you're topside, we'll provide directions to your meeting with the quill. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, the only requirement for this is max rank with Solaris Syndicate, so you have to be old mate. And I'm not sure if it can be done solo, it does seem like it, so that's what I'm gonna do. What's my frame rate death? <laughs> Your rendezvous point is a cave. Coordinates marked. Lots of corpus traffic, so you'll wanna do this softly, softly. Not an option. Comms just let up. The taxmen are onto your quill. Sparky, get your team over there. Now! This is the place. Eliminate those corpus teams before they find the quill. Oh my gosh. Never been in this cave before. I think this is actually one of the few that were shown in one of the dev streams. Quills are always one step ahead. Never seen one take a hit. He'll be around hiding somewhere. We gotta find him. Yeah, yeah, hide and seek. Yeah. 
I'd assume he'd be up somewhere. It does say in this area. I can't take this animal down. Follow the tracks. Dead. What kind of quill walks into an ambush? Search the body. Though I suspect the corpus will have already snatched up our protocols. No protocols, just fish bait? This is a bust. Nah. For everything a quill does, there's a reason. Tenno, got a shock spear, Andy? Uh, sure. That's not the spear. I could scroll up, yeah. That's not a shock spear, I just picked up a Lanzo spear. Oh my gosh, I've got my fishing spear out, that's why I couldn't do anything. My frame rate keeps halving to like 30 every now and then. Oh, we need to get another fish then. Alright. Guess I missed that. Another wafer. Termed in the intake. Coordinates. Definitely. Pointing to somewhere on the bar. You can keep fishing to be certain, but it seems to be pointing toward attack men base. Sequence complete. Coordinates to this tax men base. Time for a degree of violence. We need the codes to that satellite, or this whole plan is beached. Alrighty then. Kind of bombarded the archiplasmor. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised I'm hitting these shots. I can normally only do shots like that with a higher frame rate. So I'll probably be missing a lot this stream. Oh yeah, finally we actually have to take a base. I'm about to die. This is so awkward. My eyes are bleeding. This is the first step. It's actually quite tricky.
one more minute. Oh yes, I love fighting these Rachnoids. There's <laughs> they might need to be a bit of a higher level though. Where's the 20k special? Oh jeez, almost died! Justin, you almost killed me. I'm taking damage through my frost globe here. See guys, this is why I brought frost. Because you never know when you might need to defend something or not. The 20k special is face cam. And at this rate, by the time I get face cam, we're gonna be at 25k. <laughs> so it may as well be the 25k special. What is shooting? Oh, that. Shame, the poor guy. Isn't he invulnerable? This guy can take a beating. Yeah, I've got a Riven for my Rubico Prime. I don't think Mesa Prime is out yet. I think it comes out in a, a few hours. Sparky, drone dead ahead. LD, when that thing's down, I need you to. Way ahead of you. An encrypted data block working. Can I get between the drone and the Hacked powers. for me. One hack coming up, and then a quick teleport into our sector. They'll wreck that drone rather than let it go, obviously. So, you know, stop that. That guy just went ice skating. It's gone. I need more damage. This is not out on console yet, and I'm not entirely sure if it is actually coming out before the end of the year. 
It might. It might. What you doing out here? If Solaris United is gonna be what it once was, things need getting done. Run your optics over this. I want some toroids. And all, but I find it hard to give two tenths of a paramecium's crap for a place this cold. Right, so the satellite's sorted, but the orb shields are going to adapt to your attacks. Enrichment Labs holds the harmonic schema of Profit Taker shields. With it, Biz thinks he can slow the adaptation long enough for your crew to inflict some real damage. Break the place, I'll cut the engines. A bit quick about it. I don't want you having to blow the engine off whatever I approach to. Profit Taker's design is a full lock data bomb. Probably a late model of our anniversary if I ever call it. That means you need three pass keys, and you've got to get them quick as those suckers expire if they're not reauthorized on the regular. Each passkey is held by a corpus director. Their skin score at passkeys. I value. And the directors have orders to self-preserve. They are not coming out. I should leave them no choice. The taxman cares more about self-profit than self-preservation. Watch this. With the ultimate to shaking within their panic rooms, we come to claim what is ours. The profit of our suffering. We will not leave until every last credit has been taken from this facility. Hmm, we've got a time limit. Got the director's attention. Coming out for a nosy. What? Emily uh. and all with security. You're on the clock, Sparky. The directors carry pass keys for the data vault. Take the directors down before the keys expire. And what do you mean, I missed? Your first target is the armaments director. Armaments research. How much blood was on that mucker's hand? Search the body. Vivisec director. <laughs> Animal experimentation. He deserved his fate. One target remains. I'm running out of time. Only three minutes left. Oh no. So that's what you get for messing with things you don't understand. Right. Listen up. Take those packs to the data vault out of the way. With the director taken care of, you should meet much resistance. How's it not dead? That like no help. Excuse me. You're not excused. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy. Two up, two down. That wasn't so bad. Now crack open the data vault and grab that data mess. Got it. Now get out of there. Was that the orb speaking to me there? Kill them or lose them. Just don't let them see you entering Fortuna. All right. Get your crew back to Fortuna. But do it quietly. How do you get the glyph? Uh, I'll be doing a glyph giveaway very soon. Uh, in this live stream. And I do glyph giveaways on Discord as well. And whenever I drop a video, I also put glyph codes in the comments. That's a nice Nova. What now? So we go back in here. I need to put the fan on. It's getting really hot. Let's get started. 
Okay, so we completed these two. We need to steal a gravity mag. Places out firepower and a vault directly beneath the building size slaughter matic horror show we're trying to kill. We need her shifted. Leave that to me. First things first. The overcharger satellite. Get into the labs, locate the controls, inject our recoded protocols, and shut that satellite down. Proper taker moves. You engage the orb. And while you take her dancing, I slip in and nick the weapon schematics. Meanwhile, I'll gather data to develop a weakness in her shields using that stolen harmonic schema. The longer you keep her engaged, the more observable data I can gather. And the less likely she'll wander back and squat on top of my only way out. We'll update you and the rest as you go. All right, one thing I'm concerned about is getting the ability to use the arc gun, but getting locked, like, we get it mid-mission, uh, because I might want to double the mod capacity on my thing. The plan, if you would? Right, Cobradon's got all the tricks, check. Been taxing lap pods since we were sprogs. Primo Electromags, that place. Anyways, intake, outtake. Vent C7A, in it. Back of the place, blocked. But your old mucker Boonie has rigged it askew. Just for you. Check, check. This is PC only. Uh, it will be coming to console later. Hopefully before the end of the year. Rear of Enrichment Labs. Though most of that vent kid jargon sounds like a cavart coughing up fur clots. First things first, disabled the shield overcharger satellite so Biz can knock her off her perch. Satellite protocols. Rejected. Gods, I was afraid of this. You'll need to reboot the antenna array from outside at the same time as satellite protocols are uploaded. Outworlders, split up. Split up, what? I'm the only one. This time limit, though. Come on, hack it. That's it. <sighs> Jeez. Thieflings. Biz, get it down if you would. This is a little something I've been saving for a day. Where are those noises coming from? Flashback, but I'm going in now. 
I need magnetic damage for this. So she becomes invulnerable until we gather enough data. Do I have to be close by? It seems so. I haven't found a critical spot so far. Invulnerable again. Maybe that front section with the skull might be a critical spot. Got him. I'm coming out. Can't wait to introduce that orb to your arc with weapons. Fizz, tell me you have an update now. How do I gather more data? Rest in peace my Helios. Missing something. Why is my snow globe not breaking? I'm out of ammo here. This is not good. frame rate Alright, I'll try a different weapon No I see. There's the vulnerable spot. Ouch. My frame rate. Oh, I can't see. I can't see. 
My eyes are bleeding. <laughs> what is happening right now? You know, I... This would be unplayable if I was playing with four people right now. I'd have like 10 frame rate. I was able to deal damage to it earlier. There we go, I got it again. Shoot, shoot. Damn it, I'm out of ammo again. On for this frame rate. <laughs> I feel so bad for people who play on laptops. No, I, I've almost killed it. Come on, I got this. I'm not leaving here. Ah, it's invulnerable now. Whew, almost died there. I used a lot of health pads there. That was... that was intense. Weakness element is on the forehead. Oh, and I've actually thought about seeing it that way. Got the Gravia Mag now. So I assume you can deal damage to the shields with normal weapons, or even amps. But then for the base health, you need the arc gun. I wonder if it's a gear component. Doesn't seem like it. Hey, hot shot. Over here. Sparky. Right. We're all here. Let's get started. So then it seems you need four people with different elements. I was still able to damage it though, but it would seem it's more susceptible to that type of damage. Arc gun deployer. Do I have to build that first? How does this work? Do I have to build it? Check inbox. Ah, okay. Arsenal, select mode, open vehicles, loadout. Equip any arc gun that has a catalyst installed. Create that gun using the gravity mag. Primary weapon in the heavy weapon slots. 
Add arc gun deploy gear to gear wheel. Hey, hot shot. Over here. Okay. So then I might need to go back to my ship. No, I can do it here. Heavy weapon. Yeah, I need to go back to my my ship probably, unless I can do everything here. Munitions. Sure, let's quickly upgrade that. So what elemental damage do I have on here? Magnetic. Wait, I need this more. <laughs> I thought that was maxed. Okay, so now I can equip it. And I don't think I do anything here. I just need to put in my gear now. Although I'm gonna have to have it in the main area if I want to hotkey it. So then I'll do it here. Arc gun deployer. That's slot 11. This frame rate is death. Keybinds. I think that's six. All right, should be ready now. Sparky, right, we're all here. Let's get started. <laughs> well, John, they did do what I thought they would, or what I said they should. They buffed the arc wing weapons, so this is going to be interesting. We'll see how it works. It's time for the showdown. Hey, hot shot. Final phase. Thanks to that data you gathered, this can slow proper take a sentient shield adaptation long enough for you to do some real damage. Then, once the shields are gone, use your grabber mag modified arc wing weaponry to punch through her carapace and end this. So we're gonna pull the trigger on this thing. I've got a card game to get to. Nice. Ruby, the profit taker. She's moving. Looks like she's headed for the middle of nowhere. Why? <laughs> Little duck. All right. Look. It might be that it turned out that those satellite protocols didn't shut the overcharger down, just realigned it. And it might be that you sounded so pleased about the whole thing that I, I didn't tell you. So, the puppet taker makes it to those new coordinates. The shields will be impenetrable and we're done for. Fuck 
Please don't tell me this is time based. Nice Nidus. Alright, well, let's see how this works out. Radius, we're done for. No second chances. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is going to take a while. Hang on. How do I drop this? Yes! I can do damage to my Rubiko! <laughs> Anyone the shield then? I'm gonna be out of health pads after this. Really? It's a river. Doesn't want to summon. Uh, it's not summoning my art gun. It's not ready. What do you mean not ready? I am so confused right now. That wasn't very cool. I'm literally gonna need karma for this. This is gonna take too long. Could still be locked behind damage. Because it, be it keeps becoming invulnerable for a certain time period. There's certain sound cues that I'd probably have to try and look out for. I see now. Sixty-nine health left. Oh, 
Alright, gun deployer is still not ready. I need fire damage now, but I don't have that. So I guess that just keeps changing. I see now. Alright, now I understand. You need so many different damage types, though. I can't remember what damage type I have on my pistol. And there, I almost died. It seems to be just the base elements, though. Oh, puncture, okay. I see. I have a limited amount of time here. I think I'm gonna quickly restart this, guys. I'm gonna grab Chroma, and then I'm going to change the mods on my Rubico so that I can damage it in two different phases, and then I'll also mod my uh, my pistol as well. Maybe I'll equip the Arca Cisco. Hystrix would actually be bigger. You're correct. You'd need I'd need a very strong bolt for that though, and. Right now, my build's probably very weak for it. So that's where the Operator Arcanes come in handy, where you can convert your void damage to a different... to a specific element as well. Alright, well, let's... let's start preparing. So it has to be a single element bold. Got cold damage and radiation. I think I had just radiation before. So I guess this is fine. But I would prefer more cold damage actually. That should be good enough, though. Chroma is going to make make me do a lot more damage. Uh, but I can only have one here. And then the arc gun only worked once, for some weird reason. Hmm. Well, let's just try this. Let's see how it works. I'm sure cold damage does show up. So it's puncture and cold that I can do. I'll keep an eye out for those icons. Oh wait. I might need to go back down and start it up again. I'm using the Hiku, so I can't mod my pistol to do damage. It's so that I can buff my Chroma. I need that Hiku for self damage. Wish there was a way to skip this dialogue. You wanna see something? Well, don't stand in one place. Please don't put me in the cutscene. No! This can slow proper 
take a sentient shield adaptation long enough for you to do some real damage. Then, once the shields are gone, use your Pravamag modified Arquin weaponry to punch through her carapace and end this. So we're gonna pull the trigger on this thing. I've got a card game to get to. Yudi, the Prophet Taker. She's moving. Looks like she's headed for I don't have a nowhere. melee weapon to damage myself I... with or chroma yet. Uh, so that's why I have to use Hiku Prime. Duck. All right, look, it might be that it turned out that those satellite protocols didn't shut the overcharger down, just realigned it. That's a nice mess, huh? It might be that you sounded so pleased about the whole thing that uh, I didn't tell you. So. I really hope we don't have to go through these cutscenes every time we do these runs. Hopefully it's just for the first playthrough. Alright, so we're looking for puncture and cold damage. Hopefully it's not designed so that it takes a lot of reduced damage from very high damage. Yeah, the cutscenes are literally longer than the fight. Oh, now she's there. Once that mother hits the overcharge radius, we're done for. No second chances. There she is. Ouch. That made a slight difference. Just a slight one. Yeah, I don't have blast damage. That's corrosive now. Puncture. Slash. What do you mean you're only- Oh! Helios was dead most of the time, so he never got the chance to scan the, the orb. That's gas, I think. Or viral. Okay, so now I need to use my arc wing weapon. Weapon not equipped, what do you mean? What? The weapon's not equipped! I did equip it though. Don't tell me I have to do it for each individual Warframe. Wow. 
Wow. After all that, now I need to go back. Amazing. You literally have to equip the Arcwing weapon in the vehicle section for every Warframe. For the entire lifetime of Warframe, the vehicles tab has been shared for every single Warframe and now they change it and they don't let you know. Wow. Select mode, vehicles. Lovely. <laughs> Okay, well, let's do that again. Yay! Uh, I'm not going to make the same mistake. But guess what, guys? We have to watch the cutscene again. Sparky, right. We're all here. Let's get started. My favorite. Final phase. Thanks for that data you gathered. Biz can slow profit take a sentient shield adaptation hey. real damage. Then, once the shields are gone, use your Gravamag modified Arcwing weaponry to punch through her carapace and end this. So we're gonna pull the trigger on this thing. I've got a card game to get to. Screw your card game. You could have finished your card game by now. She's moving. Looks like she's headed for the middle of nowhere. This is giving me so much encouragement to not fail. I don't want to fail anymore. Turned out that those satellite protocols didn't shut the overcharger down, just realigned it. And it might be If we do this if we have to go through this again, I'll literally do a giveaway during the cutscene. So, if Pocket Taker makes it to those new coordinates the shields will be impenetrable, and we're done for. Sparky, to the Valis, now! To the Valis, now! Ah. Alright, let's do that again. I really hope that I'm not going to run out of um, health pads. What is my keybind for that? Okay, I've got enough. I've got another 70. Once that mother hits the overcharge radius, we're done for. No second chance. Oh, hang on. Just get some energy first. Don't change, I need that weapon type. Damn it, you changed. Cold damage and all the base, all the basic types. Impact does the most with Rubico. And then I've got radiation as well. It's blast damage.
geht's. Gas. Hmm. I haven't found any critical spots yet, but I guess it is shield after all. Can't really get critical damage on a shield. We can do damage with slash. Puncture. Radiation. That's a good one. Oh, it changed already. That was quick. Oh, it's changing very quickly now. I haven't seen cold once. No, no! Woo. Just in time. Which leg? That one. No. Which leg is it? Not like I'm out of energy. Have to deal the legs again, what now? I need to get rid of this.
Our gun deployer is not ready. Hello. It's giving me this nonsense again, guys. What does it mean it's not ready? Ten minutes! All because I didn't refresh my damage. You gotta be joking! What the hell is that cooldown? I just need to flop around for another 10 minutes and do nothing now. Oh wow. Well, I sincerely apologize for forgetting to do the refresh once because it's only 30 seconds. I did not know the cooldown was more than 10 minutes. have to do it with the art gun. This is where other players would come in handy, I guess. Some people would just always have their art guns out. You need like maybe... I don't know, three people with art guns? And then one person just to buff them? Ideally a chroma? <sighs> well... At least this boss fight doesn't seem to be timed, so... Oh well, I almost died there. If only we could just use our arc wing and then use our arc gun from here. Too bad we can't. <laughs> Literally time for a giveaway. So this means I need to be I need to be laser focused and not miss a single buff for my chroma. Because if I do, I won't be able to damage the orb. Okay, how long? Six and a half minutes. Time for a giveaway, everyone! Hey! Alright. So, uh, I don't know, let's try to do some glyph codes here. <sighs> Let me just go to orderless. So I can keep the game running. <laughs> Only six more minutes. This is amazing. <laughs> well, guys, I don't recommend doing it solo. Now let's see if I can do multiple giveaways. Okay, I think I see how, how I can do this. What art gun do I recommend? I don't know. The Corvus seems to be doing well enough. Corvus is a very strong arc wing weapon.
Okay, I'm gonna give away about 10, 10 glyphs. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put five glyph codes in the chat after the giveaway. And then I'm also gonna choose winners as well. Okay, so I'm gonna have to roll it multiple times. So in order to enter this glyph giveaway, how can I visualize what it looks like? Oh, there we go. The glyph is on the left-hand side, top left. That's what it looks like. Normally my face would be there, but I'm going to get face cam soon. So for the glyph giveaway, all you need to do is type in exclamation mark glyph. Don't spam it. If you spam it, you won't get a chance to win. And also, actually I'll put three glyph codes for each platform. I'll do three PC codes, three Xbox codes, and three PS4 codes. So let me set that up whilst you guys enter in. Actually, how many are, of you guys are watching right now? How many people are there? About 200. Okay, I'll do five each. A reminder, don't spam it. And I'm getting the console glyphs here for five. these glyphs ready. Now I'm gonna try roll this multiple times and then we'll get a couple winners here. I'm gonna roll it ten times. Cephalon Zelgius, Blue Butterfly, Riku, Ma8, Michael, I think that's about five now. X Mason. Eminem. Awesome clips of awesome stuff. John Phil, and I think this should be the 10th one. Phineas. All right, I'm back. So, all of you who won, either message me on Twitter or message me on Discord. Uh, you'll have to join my Discord server. Everything is in the description, and Nightbot also posted a link to the Discord server as well. I also do giveaways there as well, so if you didn't win here, 
you'll have a chance later. So all of you winners, be sure to message me and then I'll give you a code. And now I'm going to post 15 codes in the chat. So uh, get ready for, oh, that's out of the limits. Is it a limit? <laughs> okay. Then I'll, I'll do three each. <laughs> I just need to make this much shorter. Okay, this should be fine. Five PC codes and then three for each console. Let's see if that's too long. It's still too long, are you? <laughs> You've gotta be joking. I guess it prevents spam, but... Let's see. Hey, it just fits, okay. Get ready, guys. I'm gonna post it in the chat now. What? That is not how I copy-pasted it. <laughs> That's a bit of a mess, but... Anything- every- every code that doesn't have a space- if- if there's a space in between, it's a- it's like a single code. <laughs> I put sp I literally made made it so that it have it'd be on next line, but YouTube doing YouTube things. I'll have to work on that. I'll have to post them individually next time. It's my first try. But yeah, there's some codes. Try grab them. Yeah, I'm Storm Slug. And by now. We should be able to use the arc gun again. Blue butterfly, you you were one of the winners. Uh, Nightbot posted in the chat. Nightbot didn't post all the winners. Yeah, blue blue butterfly, you, you did win. So just message me. Nightbot's also broken. <laughs> Amazing. These codes are for my glyph, and I've got PC, PS4, and Xbox One codes in there. It was just a mess because YouTube just put everything in one paragraph. All right, let's put this music off. Change my graphic settings so that I can aim. And we can use the art gun again. Whew. Okay, I have to be laser focused for this, otherwise it's gonna be another 10 minute wait. Probably won't talk much here. I need to focus. I do not want to waste another 10 minutes of your time.
Oh no. I didn't think it would actually get its shields back. You know, at this point, I'm actually considering not doing it solo. Because I literally have to get rid of my Corvus now. And it's now back on a 10 minute cooldown. Okay guys, I'm gonna have some of you guys come join. This is gonna take like 30 minutes to 40 minutes to finish that boss. I am not doing that solo. So some of you guys can come join. Those 10 minute cooldowns are a pain in the ass. Oh, Blue Butterfly, um, you must message me on Twitter or Discord. I'll give you the code there uh, when the stream's over. Alright, well, that kind of sucks. I could have easily done that solo if that 10 minute cooldown was, wasn't there, but I have no intent on waiting more than half an hour each time those shields recharge. So, let's go ahead and set this to invite only. And if you guys want to join, be sure to send me an invite. And of course, you will have to be strong enough. You also need to meet the recommend the requirements, which is old mate. So to add me, all you need to do is add me Stormcrown YT. I'm on PC. Add me and send send me a message. In game. And then we're gonna have to do this as a squad, otherwise. It'll take forever. I'm just gonna see if there is anything else I could have done. With the Rubico, I just either needed to wait for a cold damage, radiation... I never saw cold though. That was the problem. So maybe I'll put fire on? I oh, know I can't. I'll put Infected Clip on. I've seen Toxin. So we've got five different damage types that we can use here now. Okay, Jacob. I'm just gonna check out your profile first. Yeah, you're strong enough. How do you kill the giant crab things? Well, so far, it seems all you need to do is damage its shields with the right element that it displays on on its head. And then you take the shields out, then you need an arc gun to shoot the legs. And once you've damaged all the legs enough, then it'll open up its head and you need to do more damage to it then. Yeah, you guys are welcome to join me. Uh, my in-game name is StormcrownYT. Be sure to send me a message. And right now, I would probably recommend bringing a Chroma, but if you don't have a proper Chroma, then you can always just stick near me or Jacob to get our buffs. You can change the element by shooting with the amp. I'll give that a shot.
Nobody else want to join? I think it would also work if I switch it to public. Turbo Ants. Alrighty guys, there's one more spot. I'm going to go ahead and go through the cutscene so long. Sparky, right. We're all here. Let's get started. This will be the last time we're gonna watch this cutscene. Oh wow. You guys need to have your arc gun deployer and your loadouts. So it's turbo and Ask him if he's completed the first three missions. First three stages. How to complete fourth phase. That's what we're currently doing. Oh, I'd assume you haven't done it then. You crashed. Yeah, it's out on PC already. I'll start with Archie. Alright, let's just try it with public. Let's see how that works. Or wait, hang on. Let me hit X there. I can try in recruit chat here. Full with these two guys. They know what they're doing. Sparky. Let's go ahead and start it up. We're all here. Let's get started. Hey, hot shot. Over here. You can't fight the orb mother the orb mother on console yet. It's still gotta come to PS4 and Xbox. Take a sentient shield adaptation long enough for you to do some real damage. Then, once the shields are gone, use your Grabber Mag modified Arcwing weaponry to punch through her carapace and end this. So we're gonna pull the trigger on this thing. I've got a card game to get to. Yudi, the Prophet Taker. She's moving. Looks like she's headed for the middle of nowhere. Why? And how much time, I can't say for sure. Let's hope before the end of the year, but uh, the devs said it's not insert yet, they are working on it, so it's still possible, but otherwise it does seem more likely that it would be at the beginning of next year. And it might be that you sounded so pleased about the whole thing that I didn't tell you. So, if Prophet Taker makes it to those new coordinates, the shields will be impenetrable, and we're done for. Sparky, to the Valis, no! Uh, 
All right, let's do this. I can see for efficient squads, voice is going to be needed so that people can switch in and out of their arc guns at the right times. So like three people would have to constantly manage arc gun and then, or maybe two people in arc guns and then two people switching between arc gun and their weapons. That could be pretty efficient. Legget, once that mother hits the overcharge radius, we're done for. No second chances. There she is. Toxin. I took like. No damage of the right type there. Did I? Okay, it does seem like the right damage type. I didn't take any shield damage. Okay, let's see. That switches it. No, it doesn't. That's electricity. That wasn't very nice. Yeah, my frame rate is dying in public here. It's gas now. I've got 15 frames per sec. It's a good thing that the spider is a large target. At least I don't have to hit any small targets on the spider, because I would not be able to aim. Jeez, I, I can't do anything. Impact. Okay, this is the shield stage. Oh wait, that's a Kavat, not a player. Jeez, I can't! I can't see anything. Oh my gosh.
Need to get to the front of the spider to do more damage there. Okay, now it has its shields back. I'm going to wait with my arc gun. Get to a safe spot here. Closer to these guys so I can give them my chroma buff. Jeez. How much time do I have? 13 seconds. Where are my teammates at? On the bright side, at least it's not under 10 frames per second, right? I literally cannot wait for my new graphics card. Because <laughs> this is... this is 8. Probably another shield stage. I've got 10 frames per second right now. This is painful. Save Arc Gun again. Uh, is this a bad time? D, what is it? I think I only have magnetic on mine. This crew must have figured out our bypass. It's realigning. Sparky. We're running out of time. You have to kill her now. We won't get another chance at this. Oh, there's a time limit now. Oh, wow. He still has his arc wing. Where are the others at? Jacob's up there. If I switch away from my arc wing, my arc gun, then we might not be able to take out the legs and body in time.
I lost my buff. I wasn't paying attention. Now I literally have to... What is going on? The la Dude! I've literally used health twice. Oh my gosh. This is not gonna go well. Shields are down. I can't do anything. The others have to use their arc wing weapons. I'm just hoping they do have them. I can't see anything, but I'm trying to see who does have an arc ring weapon. No one. I don't think anyone has an arc ring weapon. Ah, oh, no. I can't damage leg, you need you need an arcing weapon. I've run out of my buff now. No one has an arcing weapon. Uh. Everyone used their arc guns and then they all switched back. Damn it. And the only reason why I switched back is because I I was getting far too distracted by the low frame rate. I forgot about my 30 second timer. No one has an art gun. Wait, someone does, someone does. There's, there's no time though. Like, I, I, I can't even play with this frame rate. I can't do anything. I've got 10 FPS. It's not it's not doing anything. Yeah, they're also struggling. Oh my gosh. Well, that made us look like amateurs. Maybe Biz would be willing to run you through wet work 101. Okay. So there needs to be more coordination. Because exactly what I didn't want to happen, happened. And no one had their arc gun. So that's why we failed, because no one could damage the... the orb. Why did there have to be a 10 minute cooldown? Why? Try lowering graphic settings, it does nothing. It's because I'm streaming that I lose more frame rate. The only way I can increase my frame rate slightly that would work is that top bar at the top of the stream that you guys can see with like the logos and everything. If I removed that, if I hit that, I'd get a little bit more frame rate. But the graphic settings in the game literally have no impact on my frame rate. At all. Believe it or not, but they don't. Endless loading screen as well. Okay. How much does my mic cost? 
Uh, I bought it like almost two years ago. And back then I think it was around 200 to 250 dollars. I had to pay a lot more though. I think it was $200, but I had to pay a lot more. Uh, because I live in South Africa, so I had to pay almost double the price to import to import it here. Because we, we've we got trash here. We don't have mics. Alright. Normally, I have 100 frames per second. In in uh, the orb phallus. That's when I'm not streaming. When I am streaming, that goes down to 60 frames per second. And that's with all the optimizations I had before. So with the best streaming settings, I get 60 uh, from like 90 to 100. But then when I do the most intense stuff, like doing that fight solo, then it's about 30 FPS. But when there's a squad, then the frame rate halves again. And that's just Warframe itself. So the only way I can improve that is by getting a better graphics card. Turning settings down will maybe, if I turn everything down to the lowest, maybe I'll get five more frames per second. Maybe. That's not gonna change anything. Because I literally need like at least 60 FPS to aim properly. I'm used to 160. So obviously, such a large frame drop does have a large impact, but at 10 FPS? Ah, uh -uh. <laughs> I can't. So now, I'm gonna grab some more players here. But this time we have to coordinate. We literally have to coordinate, so we're gonna address roles here. So that we don't fail. Um, what's it called? Uh, stage four. I think that's all I needed to do. Okay. Well, at least it's trickier than an Eidolon fight. Mirage would work. Trinity for healing, I guess. We mostly need... I'll have to be DPS for the shields then. But it seems that Chroma is a brilliant choice, Mirage is a brilliant choice. Any, any character that buffs is a pretty good choice. Uh, what did I switch to? Should be fine. Let's get one more. We're gonna do this this time. other guy to come in before I present the strategy. Alright, how good is he? 
Alright. So this is the strategy, it might not be as efficient as possible, but I think it would work. Two people go DPS to take down the shields. Uh, the other two will help as well with the first shield break, and then... Actually, maybe I can try talk in-game. I don't know how that would sound though. I haven't tested. But this should be fine. The other two keep their arc guns from the first shield break onwards. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. So... Revive resets cooldown. Is that a thing? Alrighty, so me and Gun Gamer are going to smack the shields. We'll keep our arc guns for the final stage. Get back to work, you and then the other two need to uh, try stay near us. Okay, this should work. Cue the cutscene. Once again. Sparky, right. We're all here. Let's get started. I like to think of myself as a genius. Ready to make some hard correct choices. I think I'm going to start running low on health pads quite soon. I should have about maybe 50, 40, 40 left. But it's enough for this fight. Then, once the shields are gone, use your Gravamag modified Arcwing weaponry to punch through her carapace and end this. So we're gonna pull the trigger on this thing. I've got I don't think Mesa would be good for this. You do. The Arrow here. would be pretty decent. She's moving. Looks like she's headed for the middle of nowhere. Why? Uh. Little duck. All right. Look, it might be that it. Turned out that those satellite protocols didn't shut the you pick up down a heavy ammo drop, like 10 minute it. counters reset. That you sounded so pleased about the whole thing that uh, I didn't tell you. Hmm. I haven't seen a heavy ammo drop anywhere. So, if Profit Taker makes it to those new coordinates, the shields will be impenetrable and we're done for. Sparky, to the Valis, now!
Alright, let's do this. Two trends, two chromas. That's gonna be a lot of damage prevention. Once that mother hits the overcharge radius, we're done for. No second chance. Okay, we're gonna DPS here. Me and the other chroma. Ah, oh, changed right there. That's corrosive. Oh no wait, that's viral. It's not gross. No one has viral. That's gas. Magnetic. I can damage here. Flash damage as well. Okay, two people using arc gun. I'm going to need magnetic proc, um, those arcane nullifiers. Anyone damaging the legs? It's not letting me revive. It's so hard to keep track of players with this frame rate. Who's using the arc ring? I can't see anything. Okay, she doesn't have her arc wing. Where did he go? Where did she go? I lost sight. I literally... I can't even... think straight. I can't find anyone! Ugh! Both trends need to use... Uh, uh, art gun. Oh, come on. 
Really? Did it reset it? That was not very cool. Why am I basically invulnerable? Okay. Where'd that turn into go? I literally didn't even see. This is so scum. The second she moves out of frame, I lose sight of her. This is so unplayable. Damn it, this is literally gonna take forever. Trinity, stay near me! Yes! I can't be the one looking for the Trinity. Which Trinity? Oh my gosh, I literally could have used my arc gun. It's been almost 10 minutes. <laughs> Come on. Oh my lord, just stay near me! <laughs> Jeez! What are you shooting? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude! Oh my gosh, dude. Shields awaiting. Whatever you're doing, it's working. I swear, because of the low frame rate, it takes like five times longer for everything to work. It's... Oh my gosh, dude! I can't do anything with this frame rate! It is literally impossible. Jeez. Alright, now I need to get my shields back because I got knocked into the water. I'm invulnerable. Now I need to switch back. It got its shields back because we took so damn long. Alright. Does it still have its shield generator up? This is the epitome of frustration. I almost died there. It's not displaying an element. It's just a normal guy, not a shield generator. Okay, legs are back up then.
Where'd she go? I'm saving my Arcwing weapon for the final stage, so that we don't fail. Me and the other Chroma are saving our weapons. I don't know where the other Trinity is, though. Fire. I think, what I think is that just one DPS should be enough, and then three people using our gun. But you guys saw when I used Arc Gun, I was able to do it solo easily. There's two Trinities here, but I guess maybe they just aren't experienced enough. Or maybe their Arc Guns are just quite weak. I don't know. To me, it changed very quickly there. This is another reason why I'm convinced we need two DPS. I literally... it has to be two DPS. Because two people need elements so that we can get the shields down faster. Well, there I stopped paying attention. Why am I invulnerable? I can't get my buff back. Why is it so hard to- there we go, that's good enough. Jeez. It's on legs again. It's also displaying elements. There we go. You've got to be joking. I hate this area. <laughs> I really hate this area because with low frame rate, I'm always getting knocked. I'm always landing in the little... What is happening? <laughs> Jeez. It's literally a pain in the ass to get my buff. Because I can't damage myself, I'm invulnerable. Uh, why does life have to be so hard? 
I swear, if I get knocked into the water again... Okay, the legs need to be taken out. I don't want to cross that river. I, I have no control over my movement right now. Who has Arc Gun? She has Arc Gun. This is so tedious. <laughs> Watch, watch us just get one mod as the reward for this. That's probably what's gonna happen. Where'd she go? I've completely lost sight of that trinity. I can guarantee you guys, it looks a lot better than it feels for me. It's only 15 frames per sec- Oh my gosh, you've got to be joking! And why is only one Trinity using her arc gun? Come on, there's like one leg left. Yes! Shoot the body, shoot the body! Trinity, where are you at? Shoot the body! No, 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 no! I am not falling in that water again. That's puncture. What, what do you mean I can't damage it? Oh, it's spawning more of these. That funny moment when if I just stayed solo like half an hour ago, I actually would have done it solo by now. <laughs> Damn it, man. This is pain. That's heavy ammo. This is where I'm going to use my arc gun as soon as we take this out. No river here? Okay. I don't think I have flame. Waiting for the switch. I can't damage that, the other guy can. Someone had corrosive. Okay. We need one more element that we can damage it with. Okay. Uh, arc gun. Why is it not letting me shoot?
Got this. That's it, right? Woo! One mod. You know, all we need is just two players who know what they're doing. That's literally all we need. I'll have to get John. And I'll, I'll just explain to him how these things work. All you need is two players. Really? What do you mean, still too close? DUDE! <laughs> what? What even? LD. Need to get that stretch mod. Come here, that stretch mod. Oh wait, there's one of those... Toroids. Chrisma Toroid. Alright, that was fun, but very frustrating. Okay, I don't mind doing that multiple times, but geez, I just, I need one teammate who I can synergize with. We don't even need four people, just two chromas is all you need. One, two chromas for DPS, then one chroma who uses the... Two chromas DPS in the beginning for the first shield, and then just one chroma with the arc gun. It's possible to do it with two people like that, with the timer. So, you'd probably stretch it to the last minute. Four people would obviously make it a lot easier, but everyone needs to be coordinated. And also, this would be a lot easier for me to do when I'm not streaming, because I'd have like a 40 FPS instead of 10, 15. It's a nightmare. I'd be able to stick with my teammates a lot easier, because the second they just go out of frame, I can't see them anymore. So, we got Strain Consumed, Dead Maggots, okay, yeah, that restores health, Venom Teeth, what is this? Beast. Toxin and status chance. And we got one chrismatoroid. Hope the next orb has more CC. That would be AIDS. It's It would be so much easier to fight that orb in the other areas, but that one area with the two rivers, if you get knocked into there, as a chroma, you'd lose your buff. And obviously it wouldn't be that big of a deal if you had a higher frame rate, but with a low frame rate you literally have to wait three seconds instead of no seconds per action. Like it's so bad. So anyone who plays on a laptop and plays in a squad is literally going to, to have the same frame rate that I had there, maybe even worse. Actually, it might, have, it might not even be possible on a laptop. Or like, as l if, if you've got a mid-range laptop, then yes, but most normal laptops would not be able to handle it. <sighs> Alright, well, let's cash in that toroid. No, 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 no. <laughs> not this one. I'm- I'm not gonna do this again on the livestream, hell no. 
the next time I do this on a live stream is with my new graphics card. I I cannot handle 10 FPS. You don't know the quills. You knew the like it's fun maybe the first and second time, but I did it more than two times this stream because of all the other nonsense that it came with, and uh, there's no ways that I could do that with 10 FPS. It's just not enjoyable. It was fun first time because it's a new experience, but doing it again like that, nah. Like, I'll do it offline, obviously. Ready to dance on some faces. I'll, I'll do it off stream, but. Big no to on stream, so I'll get my new graphics card. I might even get it tomorrow, to be honest. It's being shipped, so. We'll see. We'll see. Record it then. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll. Geez, I'll have to make a guide for it, hopefully. Everyone else is going to be making guides for it. I'll try find an efficient guide, or an efficient way to do it with a coordinated squad. So. Wouldn't this be a waste? That doesn't go over, does it? That would be a waste. I'm gonna have to get these. You can get them from those new bounties now as well. Or by doing the first couple stages. So I'm not gonna level this up. I don't I don't wanna waste five thousand standing. May all your marks be <sighs> so for now then Is there a way to get platinum without buying with real cash? Yeah. I've made I think up to 3,000 platinum, just by doing Eidolon hunting. You can sell arcanes. Their values probably dropped a lot by now, but... Arcanes such as Arcane Guardian have risen in value. Um, I think Arcane Energize is still worth a lot. Those arcanes sell for a lot. Just one Energize can sell for about 230 platinum or more. Okay. So what I'm gonna try now I've trained many. Let's just see how much we got four thousand standing. Maybe later then. I wanna try hunt one of the new animals. Or maybe we've already been streaming for three hours. Well, I'm actually thinking I should wrap up the stream here. Then I'll do a giveaway to wrap it up. And then maybe tomorrow I'll stream again, and then I'll try hunt these new animals in the stream. It'll be a shorter stream, of course. Yeah, people will learn to use the arc guns a bit better, and I don't know what's going on with that 10 minute cooldown. It's the main thing that makes it tricky. I really miss the smoothness. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Like I thought my, my soul was literally going into hell with those 10 FPS, but back over 100 here. It's like my mind is immediately just calming down. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more giveaway now. I'll do a platinum giveaway again. I think right now I mostly just... I need a break. <laughs> After all that. I was getting a little bit frustrated and triggered. Just a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to do a Platinum giveaway here, again. 75 Platinum. Let's just get some music going again. Ok, 
Okay, I'm gonna change the keyword this time because I think the bots will use the same ones from earlier. So to enter the platinum giveaway, all you need to do is type in exclamation mark 75. And don't spam it. I wonder if Mesa Prime is out now. Not yet. I think they said 2 p.m. EST. That's in like 30 minutes from now. Right? If you do 150, do you have double the chance? Possibly, you never know. All right, I'm gonna roll it now. Let's see who wins. Ian. All right, congrats on winning, man. Uh, all you need to do is either message me on Twitter or message me on Discord. Both links are in the description. And Nightbot also just posted a Discord link. <sighs> that was a battle and a half. How long did that take? That one fight was like, what? Oh, I don't have the view mission progress. Or previous mission. It felt like half an hour. Wait, was Ian the one who asked how to get platinum? <laughs> wow. Well, that's how you get platinum without spending money. You win it from my giveaways. What do I think about the newbie show tech ban? I don't know what's going on there. I recently just heard on my Discord that he got banned. Apparently it was for an XP exploit that he shared on YouTube. I never saw the video and I think he might have taken it down. I did check his channel, but he hasn't posted it in two weeks, so I don't know what's happening there. Ah, so it was a 30 minute fight. That literally could have been a 10 minute fight. Easily. Easily. Alright, well, if you guys have any questions, you're welcome to ask. I'm gonna be wrapping up the stream very soon. So, uh, yeah, just ask whatever you wish, and I'm gonna quickly have a look at my operator here.
I'd have to change the blend. I like this current blend. It might look better the other way around though. I don't think it's possible to change that little band color. Is my YouTube glitched? What is going on over here? Yeah, my thing glitched. I didn't see any new comments here. Where, what point did it break? There we go. At which point do you get the operator? Um, you need to do the second dream. Hey Uga Booga, you're here just in time for the end of the stream. <laughs> Alright, we just hit over three hours. I'm gonna wrap it up here. And I will probably stream again tomorrow. I can't guarantee it, I might have other plans, I might make a video, we'll see. But yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone, and then I'll catch you guys again tomorrow then. Cheers guys.